I'm Tom Alsier. I'm running for United States House of Representatives in the 2nd Congressional District of New Hampshire. I want to make a difference in Washington by supporting liberty and thinking logically. I support your right to liberty. I support everybody's right to liberty. My goals will be to reduce the governmental burdens of uh, imposed on small businesses, abolish the federal income tax because it's a major invasion of people's privacy, and uh, do away with any and all federal laws that violate either the doctrine of enumerated powers or the unalienable rights of the innocent outvoted victims. I am a pro-life candidate, but my priority will be abolishing the burdens that the system places on single moms. A lot of uh, government programs don't, uh, don't take single moms into account, and that's a problem. The rights of all people have to be protected. I support open borders. I'm the opposite of Donald Trump. He hates Mexicans. He hates Muslims. I say tear down the border wall so that traveling from uh, Mexico into the United States will be just as simple as walking from Massachusetts into New Hampshire. The government never had any right to impose restrictions on immigration. This morning, August 14th, 2018, I arrived at Logan Airport with my wife and daughter, and I would not go through the usual line where they make you play with a new computer, learn a new computer system so that you can do the bureaucrats work for them. They had to send me to a different line and we went through the old-fashioned way. I support everybody's right to deal with federal agencies face-to-face. -face. To renew my daughter's passport down in Santo Domingo, they said, oh, you have to go online and schedule an appointment to go into the consular section. That's garbage. I wound up paying 5,000 pesos to a private agency to deal with the paperwork to get the appointment. That's nonsense. All of this should have been done by the employees in the consular section. Imagine if the Department of Motor Vehicles made you bring in your own picture for your driver's license. Why don't they simply take your picture at the passport agency and issue the license? Why did she need to renew it? Well, that's my fault. I failed to renew it on time. We left on her other passport and came back on the new passport. I take the rap when it's my fault. And I will take the rap if I blunder, but <clears throat> I will assign the blame when it's beyond the reach of the individual who is the victim. I support liberty and justice for all, and I want to secure the benefits, the blessings of the metric system to ourselves and our posterity. I am sick and tired of us intelligent people being pushed around by those ignoramuses who are proud that they don't even know the metric system. I don't have a lot of money for a campaign, but that shouldn't be a problem. Taking the flight back, I don't know much about how to fly a jet, and that's okay because I left that to people who took the time to learn how to do that job. If I tried my hand, if I tried to wing it, then I might crash into you and that would violate your rights. So I leave that to people who know what they're doing. If you're not going to take the time to learn, then you shouldn't be voting. You need to visit the Project Vote Smart website and learn who's running, visit their campaign websites and compare them and figure out for U.S. House of Representatives, there's no U.S. Senate race in New Hampshire and no presidential race this year, who is most likely to adhere strictly to the doctrine of enumerated powers and to support the unalienable rights of all persons. 